You know, Odessa, something just came to me. We have not gone swimming all year. Well, I don't know about you, man, but I'd kill for some water right now. Ah, uh, that's more like it. Today we're gonna do our best and try to flood Construct. If you guys did miss the video where we did the same thing to Big City, I'll put that in the top right corner. This is a mini mod showcase. Hope you guys enjoyed that short but sweet one. I definitely got to keep them a bit lower because they're starting to kind of take over the mod showcases. But anyway, they're still fun to do. Let me know what you think about it down below. Let's go ahead and try to look at what G Water can do to Construct. So if you guys don't know, G Water is a separate module you install and it pretty much adds realistic fluid simulation into Gary's mod and it's, well, it's nothing short of freaking amazing, I'm gonna be honest. We did find a way to increase the surface area of the water by simply increasing the radius of the particles but then I found out something that someone mentioned in the comments and it kind of blew my mind. So whoever said that, thank you so much. You can customize the numbers here and you could do the same thing to pretty much any tool with a number next to it. I don't know how it took me like almost 10 years to figure that out. Actually, no, it has been 10 years and I haven't figured that out, wow. But today we could finally increase that. So that particle limit that was always hindering me that I couldn't get past we can go beyond it. Let's go ahead and go to 100,000 particles. Oh yeah. So with this set in place, that means that our particle limit is now even higher than it was. So spawning something like these spheres, for instance, well, now we could spawn a lot more of them. So already we're getting quite a lot of lag and it's kind of crazy how much one sphere can almost cover the entirety of Construct already. So now we're going to go ahead and spawn. You know what? Yeah, we're just gonna go right into it. I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's go into sphere number two. You're going to notice performance really take a hit, but that's totally fine. Um, I don't think our particle limit actually upgraded, but it still says, oh, you know what? It actually did go back. Let's try and make this 100,000 to see if that actually even works. Okay, so unfortunately, <clears throat> we cannot go to 100,000 because it does reset, but uh, yeah, that, uh, well, that, that kind of killed my whole vibe right there. What about 90,000? Surely that's good, right? Wait, did we press enter? It's a, yeah. Okay, let's try a cube this time. And yeah, it, it, it just goes right back. That is, wow, that, that freaking sucks. I was hoping we could go beyond the limit, but unfortunately, it seems like we cannot do that. But we can still fill this to the absolute maximum with all the particles that we can spawn. All right, so can we change the particle radius? I think that actually worked, and that's going to help us, in fact, because if we can't increase the number of particles, at least we can increase the size to cover more surface area. So I think we should still be good now. Wait, did that actually save? It, what? Okay, to be fair, I did actually just clean up the entire map, so maybe that's the problem. So we're gonna go back to 200, because we did see a visual change when we spawned them in. So let's go kind of nuts here, just go absolute ham. Um, yes, it, it just went right back to <laughs> the default, God damn it. Okay, we're just gonna see what it looks like with all the maximum particles in place. Honestly, I think this is enough to cover all of Construct already. I mean, look how high this water is. If we just go in it, oh yeah. Nothing like going for a dip. We can see this is actually, uh, this is pretty fire, even though it's it's not, it's just water. But I mean, fire is in, this is pretty legit. Um, if you guys haven't seen actually, th this is like really funny. You can put water over water. <laughs> this is some SpongeBob shit right here. Okay, so yeah, that alone, I mean, now that the water's kind of equalizing out, I'm not gonna lie, this looks pretty damn awesome. Look at it, Odessa. Isn't it beautiful? Well, if he's gonna do it, I might as well too. Ah! By the way, I wouldn't expect the water to break your fall, so <laughs> expect to have a, a broken angle or two. For some reason, jumping into this, I guess it's just not deep enough. Yeah, that, uh, 
that hurt a lot. So this is pretty much what it looks like once everything has been completely equalized. Now we're gonna go ahead and see if we can actually adjust the water particle size, because we could before, when we had the cubes. Let's go ahead and go, oh, what? wait, 200. There we go, see, it did work. Now the particles are bigger than they were, and we can see they're already taking up a bigger space than they initially were. In fact, so much so that now this corner is completely filled in. I think some of the particles um <clears throat> may have escaped construct. <laughs> I'm actually going into the void. See, there's the map right there. And we can see water droplets dropping into the white void down below. Honestly, it's weird because normally you can't even see anything to kind of like give you context of where you're at. But because of this water here, it just feels like we're in some giant white room, which is kind of spooky. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of water particles. Yeah, I mean, that is a lot of water particles that we are missing out on. That's kind of a shame. All right, now we're talking. So that was so much that the water particles decided to just flop up in the air. But I can't help but feel like we are missing so much. Remember that those particles are slipping through the map somehow and, well, going down to the void. So I don't think we have as much and the lack of lag is telling me that's the case. Oh, this is so weird. Oh, look at this. Water did make it into the mirror room. <laughs> what? So this is the best we could do. But I want to know, guys, what are your thoughts on this mod? Leave a like, subscribe. This is probably one of my favorite mods ever just because of the experimentation you can do with it. But how would you use G-Water? Let me know down below. Leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching and farewell.